In this video, I'm going to demonstrate dashboard filter bar. Dashboard filter bar essentially is a way to add on canvas filters. And this feature replaces the existing list filter functionality. Users can add multiple filter controls or categories and choose to apply filters to specific visualizations on the canvas. On the visualization panel, if you scroll down to dashboard controls, you would see the new visualization type called dashboard filters. Let me navigate to a canvas where I've prepared a demo of a revenue analysis use case. You can see a bunch of visualizations here, and I have my dashboard filter bar configured on the top of this canvas. Because this is the visualization type, this comes with its own grammar element. There is a filter control section where the user can add multiple filter categories. These are categories that are exposed to the end users for interaction purposes at runtime. Optionally, Users can also add additional filters to the filter section and limit the values of the filter categories by selecting specific values on the filters in itself. In this example, I have limited my customer segment to just consumer, which means that all of the values in the filter categories is sort of limited to the consumer customer segment only. In the property sections, there's a bunch of properties that we have added for dashboard filter bar, but more importantly, I'd, I'd like to highlight a few of them. The first one is orientation. You can choose to set the orientation of the filter categories within the bar to be as horizontal or vertical. If I change to vertical, the alignment change, changes to a vertical format. There's also a new property to add apply and reset buttons and a property to control the freeze of the buttons within the filter bar in itself. If you scroll to the filter section, this is where you can pick and choose the specific visualization on the canvas that you want the filters to be affected by. Thank you for watching this video.